Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out what's described as a scientific uh, exploration of psychedelics. Uh, this is being broadcast and, and marketed by a organization called Red Light Holland, who probably have it in their best interest for you to be interested in psychedelics. Uh, as you can see, you can actually play this in Dutch or in English. We're going to go ahead, of course, because I don't speak Dutch, and select English. Head into the trippy world Welcome here. Welcome to a journey that will explain what psilocybin and other classic psychedelics do to your brain. Take a deep breath. It's going to get wild. This, this is, is going to get wild. You oh, have wow. 86 billion That's a neuron. in your brain. On the neuron's dendrites, there are receptors that different molecules connect to. We have enlarged one of those receptors, called the serotonin 5-HT2A receptor. When molecules connect to receptors on the neuron, they either increase or decrease the chance and action potential of a fire in that neuron, causing neurotransmitters to be released from the neuron's axon terminal. Look at your hand. You are holding the psilocybin molecule that is in magic truffles. Go on, try attaching the psilocybin to the receptor. I mean, this feels like peer pressure. Look at it. It's got the arrow saying, attach the psilocybin. Attach it to the receptor. Let's see what happens when you attach it. All right, we'll attach it. There's a lot of them there when we attach it. Okay. When psilocybin molecules connect to serotonin 5-HT2A receptors, those neurons increase their chance of firing. But what does that mean for your whole brain? How does that influence our perception? Let's take a look at a neuroscience framework called predictive processing. According to this theory, the brain is a prediction machine. Your brain doesn't have direct access to the outside world, but it tries its best to guess what's going on out there by combining two sources of information. So you got your eyes and your ears? The first is whatever is coming from your senses right now. For instance, your eyes and ears. But that is very noisy information. So your brain combines that with whatever it has already learned. In cognitive cool. so neuroscience, this, these are called priors neither do anything. and biases. Can you activate the brain's feedback loop by stimulating the senses? Yes, I just did. And I also deactivated it by stimulating the wrong senses. This is kind of cool. Perception is a creative process, like building a sandcastle. Imagine the sand is the information coming into your senses, and the buckets are your brain's priors. Try We're catching the, the sand. sand. Many of the 5-HT2A receptors are situated on the neurons that are calculating your priors, creating your buckets. When psilocybin See connects the to the receptors, sand missing these neurons buckets. become more likely to fire. The usual buckets break into smaller, different shaped buckets. Your brain can break out of its usual pattern and perceive reality with more details. As you can see, this causes more unbucketed free sand. Okay. When you take high doses of psychedelics, this leads to effects like synesthesia. Oh, nice. The information from one sense escapes the smaller buckets and is caught by a bucket that is usually connected to another sense. Try playing the xylophone and see what happens to your visual perception. So Here, I have friends sounds, who experience anesthesia, but they don't need psychedelics for it. So I'm kind of interested to see what this is like. So as you can see, as I play each note, it's changing the colors around me. That's cool. High doses of psychedelics can even change your perception of your body. Go on, try dancing. The wisdom I already look might like feel like an extension of yourself. Ooh. I, it kind of does feel like an extension of myself. It's just a mirror image of what I am doing. I could probably go into VR chat as this wisdom truffle and no one would know the difference. It looks just like me. When you microdose, you only take a small amount of psilocybin. That isn't strong enough to create these strong changes in perception. The idea is to slightly break down your usual buckets. 
to increase your creativity and change your perspective to allow you to find new ways of self-improvement. I like the little guy. I don't want to hit next yet. I want to dance with the little guy. Medication prescribed for mental health might interact with psilocybin and cause harmful reactions. You should not mix any psychedelics while being on any medication without consulting a doctor. Plants that have substances that activate the 5-HT2A receptor have been used by different cultures for 10,000 years. There are cacti that produce mescaline and mushrooms and truffles that produce psilocybin. What we call magic truffles are actually sclerosia, a part of the fungus that helps it store food reserves. Try feeding the magic sclerosia to the wisdom truffle. Hey, I guess I should do that to feed it. Interestingly enough, the same receptors that get activated in your brain also get activated in your stomach. That's cool. We still have a lot to learn, but current understanding is that you should microdose at most a few times a week. Remember, when you take large doses of psychedelics, the extra plastic state your brain is in is similar to the brain of a baby. Make sure that whoever you are with is safe for your inner baby and that whatever you are doing has been researched by the scientific community. We'd love you to join our growing community and share what you learned from your journeys. By the way, if you want to save or share your truffle dance, you can send it to your email. Cool. And there's the credits up at the top, and you can follow Wisdom Truffle on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay, so this is another application by the same developers called Mew. This Mew is also by Radix Motion. Way to connect and communicate. Think of someone you'd like to dance with. Or maybe someone you want to send a hug, or blow a kiss, or play a game with. Can you imagine that person's smile? Now, choose a filter by touching one of the orbs. You don't need the buttons on your controller. Just touch the center of the orb and it will attach to your hand. By moving the orbs in and out of the portals, you can control Miu and record and send your movements. The first seven seconds of your recording will be sent both in VR and as a GIF to whoever you choose. Make sure you find all the magic and come back to the home portal to see your incoming messages. So basically this is a recorder of seven seconds of video. So back in the wisdom experience at the end there, when it was asking if you wanted to send it, it's using the same technology. So you've got either this, this red character or this blue character. I'm going to go with the blue one to start. You don't even need controller buttons, which is great. So place the left hand with the orb at the center of the record portal. That's over there. Uh, right now we're just looking at the environment loading in, though. We've got a giant tree and some uh, mountains all around us. And let's go ahead and hit record. Hi, how are you today? I am doing just great myself. Hope things are going well for you as well. Bye! So now you can remove the orb from the recorder, and you can play it back. So I didn't get to actually speak. It doesn't record my voice, but it records my movements. It's pretty cool. And, and that's the end of it right there. That's where I grab the orb. So now what we want to do is check out more magic here. So what else can we do? We can actually change the range of color in the body. Uh, we can go to games here. Press and slide on the dashboard. So you can do catch my kisses or follow me. Let's do catch my kisses. How many kisses can your friend catch? Move your hand to and from your mouth to blow kisses. That's kind of cool. And then I guess the person that receives this on the other end can do that. And then follow me is lead your friend in a dance. And we will let you know how well they will be followed. That's cool. And then if we do morph, again, this is just uh, changing the speed and force and avatar size and things of that nature of your body. And then you can add a caption if you want to. You can send it to other people. Lots of stuff you can do with this, which is pretty cool. So I want to go back 
to the home screen now. Let's pick the red one. And now I'm this fiery red person I can do. Lots of movement if I want to. And of course now, I can re remove the orb. And we can play that back. And that's essentially how Mew works, which is again, an earlier application that's incorporated into wisdom with that wisdom truffles movements and dancing. It's pretty sweet. I just love how developers take their technology and continue to advance it. So I just wanted to highlight this as well before we go. And then if we want to send this, we can just go ahead and click on send and send it to yourself, send it to the Mew team, log in or send your Mew. Either way, hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's look at a couple of applications by Radix Motion. Uh, the first application being Wisdom, which teaches about the psychedelics and how psychedelic drugs and natural supplements can affect your brain. And then Mew right here, which allows you to send seven second greetings in VR and as gifts to your friends. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.